right now, I'm at one of the scariest places I've ever been. The devil's tramping ground. Okay, so in this circle behind me right here, it's supposed to be maybe 40 feet in circumference. Uh, nothing has grown on it for over a hundred years. The legend is that the devil comes out at night and stamps around and tramps around trying to come up with some one of his next evil schemes. People have camped out here, legend says, and then they'll wake up in the morning and they'll be off the circle right there. Uh, people have left things like, you know, like a can or something in the circle and in the, by the morning time it's out. Um, like I said, nothing has grown here. I heard, first heard of this place when I lived in Raleigh, North Carolina, when I was in like the third grade. And now all these years later, I finally made it here. And it's very different. You do feel a little different. And then also, just a few minutes ago, when I first turned my GoPro on, uh, it locked up. Battery wasn't dead, it just locked up. So I had to take the battery out, put it back in, and it was fine. Uh, which has happened before with my GoPro, but I just thought it's weird that it happened right here in this spot. people that have camped here, uh, which you cannot camp here now, but uh, people said that, that 
when they've camped here, uh, they would hear the loud stomping of feet in the middle of the night. And of course, that's another thing. It could, maybe it's Bigfoot because one of the hottest spots in the country for Bigfoot is Uori, which is maybe 40 minutes as the crow flies that way. Maybe a little bit longer, but it's not too far. So after visiting the Devil's Tramping Ground, which is pretty dang weird, I will say that. Uh, now we're gonna head over to Uori National Forest which on the east coast has the most Bigfoot sightings anywhere on the east coast except for the Great Smoky Mountains. So I'm looking forward to going checking this out again. I did two videos about you, Lori. You might want to check those out. One was a I grilled a steak on the campfire and then the other one was about me spending the night in this SUV right here. So check those out. But now we're just going to drive through and see what we can see. Like I said, there have been numerous, countless sightings of Bigfoot in Uori National Forest. checked out the El Dorado outpost here in Uori. Okay, so uh it is an awful busy road out here. This this area of Uori, uh, while it's dense woods, there's so many people, ATVers and stuff. It's Not my scene, so I probably popular area. Yeah. So uh, after going to the Devil's uh, Tramping Ground, Tina and I came on up here to Uori. So if we hear any tramping now, it's probably from a Bigfoot. And can you believe I got Tina out here with me? In the dark. <laughs> yes. And it's a very dark road. 
Very dark woods. Let's see if I can... You can barely, you can see the road there a little bit. So anyway, whew, that light is bright. We're gonna go on. If we see or hear anything, we will be back. But we're in Uwari National Forest. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm going over here into the woods. I see some big rocks. As I'm walking in the woods, I uh, wanted to tell you this. The most recent sighting in Uwari was by a 75-year-old man who was taking out his trash one evening. He puts his trash into the trash can, looks up, and standing right in front of him is like an 8 or 9 foot tall Bigfoot. The man was so shaken up, scared to death, went back into his house. They called the authorities. They come talk to him. And then the local news station came out and interviewed him. And the poor man was in tears because of what he had seen. And it really shook him up. He said, you know, I always heard stories, but I wasn't sure that they were real because I'd never seen one. But then... I did see this big giant standing in front of me. So I felt sorry for the guy. But anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.